Hey everybody, my name is Yumo16, and welcome back to Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I uh, just got done recording the last episode. I uh, had a nice movie. Uh, it's two new comics that we will not see yet. Uh, and a god awful mission from Wolverine. But good news, we're all done with his missions. We're on to Elektra. So let's get started. I do believe this is the mission where we learn how ranged attacks work. Hopefully it won't be too grueling. If you ever wanted to know, this game was rated T for teen, so... No! Oh, those are annoying! Stop that! I don't like you people. Sorry for that bit of noise, that was just me adjusting my mic. Sorry I haven't been talking for some reason, I'm actually trying to concentrate despite this being somewhat easy. Uh, so, basically Electro functions in two ways. She, like Wolverine, I believe, probably, hold up, I mean, Test this theory out. Yeah. Yeah. Like Wolverine, she uh, climbs walls and runs up said walls. Uh, but unlike Wolverine, she actually has a ranged attack, which is. The throwing knives as we've seen. So yeah.
right. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's useful. That actually explains a lot of things. Super right over here, don't worry about me. You can just keep firing at the wall. Except right around the corner and knife. Yep. This is how I look when I'm charging. And that was that was it. There was no need to charge. Great. Well don't I feel silly. Laggy music. Laggy music. Ooh, an actual card unlocked. Finally, it's not a comic, so I don't have to. I don't have to wait until I unlock all nine. Technically, I don't, but I'd prefer to unlock the sets before I, you know, show them off because it's a lot better to play all. We're just going to be running along the rooftops of New York City right now. Got to destroy those generators. Annoying as all hell. And this is also where we uh, really showcase our, uh, our wall running capabilities. Just uh, throw you off the world there, because apparently uh, below the skyline is oh god no 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 that didn't happen as far as anyone knows that did not happen that no that did not happen I don't I don't care skip this. That did not happen. No. That did not happen. Okay? Anyone who says otherwise is lying to you. That did not happen. I mean, she has a ranged attack, so... Music to my ears. And by music, I mean my entire eardrums getting completely destroyed. Right now, you done dead. And kaboom. Or rather, poof. And of course, everything moves at a much faster rate. Get no. 
done with you. See ya. Nope. Gee, you know I never would have thought to do that game. It's almost as if uh, the entire squad of Freaking soldiers Just spawning because of that. Yay, another card. And another one. I really gotta keep track of which cards I've already unlocked. <clears throat> uh, I mean, it doesn't matter all that much, but it would be nice. Oh, yay. Daredevil. Daredevil. Ooh, Daily Bugle! Daredevil! Are you here? That's those early 2000s graphics. Okay, yep. Don't stop that. Don't stop that. Basically, every part of the top of the Daily Bugle building is walled, but all of these walls can be destroyed. Good job. Good job, Matt. Baby. Finisher.
Yep. Straight in the head. Oh yeah. That's definitely a death. But wait! Is it really? <gasps> Alive. You okay? Whoa. What was that? I wonder. What is that? Dun dun dun! Card unlocked! Okay then, let's see... Ah, yes. Okay, so basically, how uh, this is working. We have, uh, just a kind of boss battle. Although, like, it, it's, it's yes and no on a boss battle. Uh, basically we have our three characters whose, you know, stories we've unlocked. We have Thing, we have Wolverine, and we have Electra, but... Uh, and we have the option of basically fighting one of these characters. We either fight the thing, uh, we either fight Wolverine, or we fight Elektra. And because we have uh, already, we've already uh, sort of beaten all the missions for Wolverine and the thing, uh, I'm going to start with one of them. Most likely the thing, since that was the first uh, set that we completed. Uh, but definitely not Electra because there's plenty of comics and cards to be had there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so let's do the thing. Last stand. A duel to the death is fought in the streets of New York. I already know who we're going to be using. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. But for each of these kinds of fights, there is a, a cutscene to go with the character which we will be using. Which is, uh very cool. So let's uh, let's get started here. Young Maria Petrov trained very hard to be the prima ballerina in the Bolshoi Ballet. She was taught total control. Perfection in every move. As the pride of Russia, she began the tour of the world from Los Angeles. I had my own plans of greatness for her talents. Unfortunate event shortened my career. When Dr. Oko came to me, he said that the other doctors were all wrong. He told me he could make me dance again. I believed in Rocco. As I dreamed of performing on stage again, he grafted seismic accelerators. He trained me to concentrate the seismic impact. I will now seek my revenge on the rest of the world. Hey, if you could not tell what was just said, she essentially just asked if we wanted to come up and play. Ow. Uh, her name is 
default zone. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty interesting. Uh, you know. The, geez, the imperfect that can uh, shatter Earth, cause earthquakes, is fighting the giant rock. These fights uh, tend to be really difficult, so yeah, I'll probably have a good fight on my hands here. Okay, she cannot lift that. Good to know. I'll probably forget that at some point. she can climb walls, I doubt that she can. I really tried to figure that bit out. Ow, stop that. Ow. You are being very mean. Considering that I'm trying to kill you, I think you have a good reason to be mean. Stop that. And everything's gonna be slow, slow, slow. Everything gonna be slow, slow, slow. Bum, bum, bum. Gonna be slow, slow, slow. Gonna get thrown around. Get thrown around. We're gonna get my rage on. Oh boy. Bum ba dum bum bum bum. Gonna toss the thing around. Or we're gonna kill him too. Like I know we're gonna do. Stop that. There we go. I, yep. That just happened. You know. I bet you that if I charge my super, I might be able to show off what the finisher is, even though I don't really remember what it is. So it'll be fun either way. Yes, I killed him already. That sucks. Well, we'll still get to see what she can do sometime in the future. long here so I'm gonna check out the cards and we're gonna end the episode. Ah yes, Daredevil. Wondrous. Next episode we're gonna continue on with Electra's little set of missions. But for now, let's see. The Wink. Electra. 
the electric card. Uh, Nachios. Assassin, lover, enigma, driven by tragedy and honed by training, the femme fatale, known as Electra, kills for hire, loves for thrills, and leaves destruction in her wake. She is unaffiliated with any group. She is five foot nine, 130 pounds, black hair, blue black eyes, and she's just sort of mobile. Uh, she's intelligent. Uh, not up there with the greats, but you know, pretty up there. Her strength is about the same as Wolverine, I think. Strength or er, speed is pretty good. Durability is quite up there, and energy. Energy projection is a bit low, even though she has projectiles, but um, uh, I think that doesn't really matter. Um, it, it, so, I said something about energy projection being something about projectiles. Uh, it might be like also like the whole flight or thing, I don't know. Uh, but she has amazing fighting skills. I think they're better than Wolverines, but that's Electra. And, uh, oh, we got one for the Daily Bugle as well. It's in uh, Grand Central, New York City. It's a 46 story building. The Daily Bugle is a widely popular daily paper in New York City. It has thrived under the, under the direction of publisher J. Jonah Jameson, who acquired the tabloid in the mid 60s. This impressive building is 46 stories tall and is crowned by the Daily Bugle logo in 30 foot letters on the rooftop. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this one. The Eviscerators. They're 6 foot, 200 pounds. To deal with armored targets, Van Rokel created these zombie like mindless humanoids. They cl rapidly close in on their targets and, rap and grab their opponents with their powerful hooks. They then activate antimatter detonators that are embedded in their bodies. Their victim's only hope is to escape the deadly embrace before it's too late. And they are annoying as all hell, and that's why you want to break out of the grab as fast as you can. And then, card for what we just witnessed, the Thing's final stand. Uh, this involved the Thing, Fault Zone, in the streets of New York at late at night. With her ability to break apart the very foundations of Earth itself, Fault Zone was seen as the ideal imperfect to deal with the bothersome thing of the Fantastic Four. Fault Zone tracked the superhero down in the streets of New York, and in a climactic battle, she defeated the thing. So anyway, uh, that's all the cards that we've unlocked this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see in a future episode. And uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.